Hey guys, what's up? So I'm really covering this uh, topic really quick. This has to do with the bond skills that might be coming out next week or maybe the week after. We don't really know. Most likely next week though. So for those of you guys who don't know, bond skills are either a protection or a CC added into uh, the awakening stance of uh, most classes. You choose one skill and it'll either I mean, based on what it says here, it, it'll either get a protection or a CC. So for striker, that's actually um, that's actually all of these. So ultimate crush, getting a full regard, eh? I guess not really. No, I don't really care about that. Infernal destruction, getting super armor is nice. The skill roots you. I've always had a problem with the skill. I've always asked for the skill to get protected, but it, now there's a choice. I still kind of. Uh, I'll play around with it. I'll see how it is because I feel like I might be able to do something with it in large scale. But I mean, it's nice. Skull Crusher getting a knockdown is pretty big. Before you would 50% BSR knock down people. If you can just do it without that, you can knock people down into 100%, and that that opens up some plays. Um, but honestly, the biggest one here is Spiral Cannon. Previously, in 2018, this skill was a, was a frontal guard. When Mystic released, hers was a super armor, ours was a frontal guard, and we were just like, oh, okay, cool. And then they removed it from both of them, and they're like, oh, fuck. So, now that it's a super armor, pretty nice. That opens up so many, so many plays for us in large scale, and it's, I mean, it's a protected engage. We can never have enough of those. So we can spiral in, or we can throw the assault in, skull crush, spiral out, whatever. Like, great, awesome. Probably the best skill on here to choose. Most people are going to take this. I advise you do. But if you don't, I mean, you can always try out skull crush or infernal. The other two are kind of whatever. Um, endless explosion getting front of guard. Nice. I can see it being used but kind of whatever. And Rampage and Prairie getting a stun, I can also see it getting used, but Rampage, most classes have ways to get behind you and Rampaging is only a, uh, is only a front of guard, so kind of risky. I, I mean, maybe some people will find use in it, but I, I don't really see it too much. So yeah, definitely the one that you want to be picking up here is Super Armor on Spiral Cannon. That is the end all be all, like, that's great. Um, some of the changes that they did for Striker. Um, after doing your flash step, knee hammer, or hidden claw, you can do twisted collision much more smoothly, which is really nice. An awakening kick, uh, an awakening kick, an, an awakening tornado kick has been changed in a way so that it doesn't happen when you do skull crusher. Um, and you can also use it after guard race training, ultimate crush, and endless explosion. Honestly, I, I locked the skill so it doesn't have anything to do with me. Yeah, honestly, Turner Cook's super whatever. And the PvP damage of Skull Crusher has been increased by 7%. Alright, <laughs> I'll take it. Um, some cool succession changes. Um, after using Twisted Collision and Rising Blast combo, uh, you can now do Skull Crusher by pressing C, which is nice. Um, the PvP damage of Rage Hammer was increased by 13%. Succession Rage Hammer was increased by 13%, which that skill already hurt pretty, pretty like it did some pretty good damage. But more damage is always nice. I'm still not sure why they're not giving Succession like another super armor or something because it lacks it pretty heavily. But I guess if the normal protected skills do enough damage, I I I, I don't know what they're doing, but whatever. They also increased the, uh, the PvP hits by Flow Bombardment, uh, Final Blow, Ankle Hook, Martial Diva, and Wolf's Hunger by 1 in PvP. This helps out 1v1s, but most of these skills are unprotected anyway, so you're not going to be using them in large scale or any kind of group scenario. And um, you now gain shards quicker while using Crouching Wolf in succession, which is actually kind of nice. Um, honestly, my thoughts on this, this is really going to help Striker a lot. Like, 
this I mean these three right here are the ones you're gonna want to pick and this right here just lets you just increases our, our large scale potential by a lot any one of these are good obviously this is the best one like this is obviously the best one but this isn't too bad oops this isn't too bad and this is not too bad at all especially now that this skill also got a got a down smash so not bad at all um this also can help you out if if you sometimes hold on effort too long whenever you're engaging after you use skull crusher you can just go from skull crusher skull hammer into infernal destruction be protected and you're kind of like Poof, i'm not dead but yeah best skill here now every class is getting these like mystic lawn etc etc like they're all getting these in their awakening so expect a bunch of classes to spike up in power for example mystic, mystic is also getting hers on her spiral torpedo which is kind of huge honestly i would say her wave warp would be nicer but th this i definitely see people like actually just pogging out over because this when this re when this releases well this is one of the most broken skills in the game because it used to heal her and like everything but honestly if i was still playing mystic i'd be really happy with this but yeah um my overall thoughts i think this is a an okay change i definitely wish our awakening grab was protected like if they were replace ultimate crush or endless explosion with giving our awakening grab a protection i would uh, i would actually just play around with that just because i like rampaging into people and grabbing them and just dragging them to the ground i especially love doing it to wizards because it's fun as hell to do but i mean we're not getting it protected so sad face but overall i think this is going to add a very weird dynamic to the game where you're not going to know what people are running like you like let's say you're 1v1 in mystic you're not gonna know if they're taking a bound on sea barrier or if they're taking spiral torpedo super armor or like i don't know whatever else or same thing with alone like you're not gonna know which one of these is protected now which kind of really creates an awkward scenario for 1v1s and even large scale to a degree but if their goal is to bring successions and awakenings closer together they need to do a lot more than this to really do that I mean, yeah, like, this this just seems like a very weird band-aid fix that's honestly going to cause more problems down the line, so I don't know. Those are honestly my thoughts, so yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, please uh, give it a like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think, would love to hear. And uh, yeah. I also stream on Twitch uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturdays from 8 p.m. now that I go back to work, so yay. Uh, Saturdays I stream from 3 to the end of Siege if you have a Siege, if not then I end before Siege. But uh, yeah, if you guys also want to discuss things related to Striker, come join my Discord. I'm always down to help people, I uh, have a few members in my Discord who always help out and answer questions, and yeah. Peace out guys. <laughs>